Mr. President, dear Donald, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, this is a special day. It is the first handover ceremony in the European Council since the Treaty of Lisbon. A new president is taking office. It is a president coming from a country that 25 years and a few weeks ago was separated from the Union by the Iron Curtain. Now the favorite son of Poland is at the helm of the most important political institution of our Union. It really is a special moment. It is special for Donald Tusk because he had to leave his beloved Poland to take up this high office. I remained in my own house, only 15 kilometers from here. Actually, this building is only a few hundred meters away from the park where I learned to walk. But it is also a day of joy, even if it is the first day of freeze and with the feeling the winter finally arrived. I'm confident that the European Council is in good hands, in the hands of a man of experience and wisdom, a true European, an open mind and an open heart. The President of the European Council represents the Union as a whole. The East and the West, the North and the South, smaller and bigger countries, richer and poorer nations, the old and the new. We Europeans are united by our values which make our continent unique. Our respect for every human person without any exception or discrimination, translated in political democracy and the social market economy. We must defend those values against self-doubt, against outside pressure, against fanatic barbarism. We must help those who are fighting to preserve or reconquer them. Much is at stake in the dangerous world we live in. Europe can only remain stable if it remains an open space, open space of freedoms, while also, more than today, becoming a place, a place of protection against threats and fears of all kinds, a space and a place. Europe can only preserve its social models with robust economic growth, with more jobs and less inequality. And the European Council has a pivotal role in shaping this new face of our union. Europe is old in historical terms but still capable to reinvent itself. It is not tired and not retired. Even the past president is not tired, although retired since a few hours. <laughs> Mr. President, in front of you are men and women who are ready to help you to support you in your new task. They serve as you do, the great cause, the European cause. And I can testify of their dedication and their sense of duty. And a final time, I say to them, to you all, a deep felt thank you, merci. I personally leave this building with a good conscience of the work done, but aware of the tasks that await you in the years ahead. Four centuries ago, John Donne wrote, 
No man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. Ladies and gentlemen, Donald Tusk is the son of the great Polish nation. From now on, he will take care as a father of our great union. Thank you. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> dear Herman, dear colleagues, my cher colleague, today is my first day in office as president of the European Council, and as you can imagine, it is a very important day for me, and I hope, I hope that for you as well. If uh, you are a little nervous about this uh, replacement, you know, the, the change of boss, don't worry, I am a little nervous too, <laughs> maybe more than you, and, but it will pass. In fact, uh, it is a great honor for me to start working here, and of course, uh, a great challenge. First and foremost, because Herman van Rompuy, our first permanent president, will be a tough act to follow, and it is not a compliment, dear Herman. It is, uh, it is a fact. I am perhaps uh, your greatest admirer in, in Europe, and not because you supported my election as your successor, <laughs> or at least not only. Yeah. It is no exaggeration when I say that you helped to steer us, to, to steer Europe out of the storm. For five years, as one of the prime ministers on the table, I witnessed your skills creating compromises, finding uh, solutions, establishing trust among often tough characters, and I was no angel myself, as you may remember. Yes, in, in fact, uh, Herman van Rompuy personifies old traditional European political principles, which are also important to me. Trust, common sense, moderation, and decency. We all thank you for the excellent work you have done, Herman. And dear colleagues, I also thank you for the great job you have done. I am aware of how important this your work of protocol, of press, of uh, translation and interpretation, of security, of political advice, of all the other roles and tasks of, tasks of, of this house. And I know that you were an important part of Herman van Rompuy's success. And I deeply believe that uh, you will all be an important part of our future success. I come here with a strong sense of purpose. In these difficult times, Europe needs success. And success for Europe in the coming years means, in my opinion, four things. First, protecting our fundamental values, solidarity, freedom, unity against the threats to the European Union
coming from both outside and inside. As you know, today not only are your skeptics questioning the EU's value, we have also enemies, not only skeptics. Dear friends, politics has returned to Europe. History is back. And in such uh, times, we need leadership and political unity. Second, we need ruthless determination to end the economic crisis. It is our responsibility to complete the genuine economic monetary union. This, uh, I take this uh, task very seriously. And uh, of course we have to remember that our common currency, the euro, is our advantage, not our disadvantage. Third, the European Union must be strong internationally. Europe has to secure its borders and support those in the neighborhood who share our values. And fourth, the relations between Europe and the United States are the backbone of the community of democracies. Both we and the Americans are responsible for the future of our relations. The year ahead will be crucial. For all these things, I will need your help at every step of the way. I, I already know a lot about your dedication, what Herman mentioned five minutes ago, of your determination, of your expertise. That gives me confidence, great confidence, confidence that we will work as a one team together. Je me, je me réjouis à l'idée de travailler avec vous. This was in French, I, I hope you noticed. Yeah? Thank you very much, Herman. Thank you very much. Dziękuję wszystkim rodakom. Dziękuję Polsce za to, że tu jesteśmy dzisiaj razem. And this is Ember. Ember in my homeland means good luck. This is a symbol of good luck. And Herman, it's for you. Good luck, my dear friend. Thank you.